Hey, come it, jump. <laughs> As Japanese, it's summer! And if we know one thing about Japan, it's that they can take a thing that's already great and then make it even better! So on that note, we're gonna talk about the amazing, crazy and fantastic ice cream types that you can find here in Japan and give you a little bit of history how it actually came to be that we got really tasty ice cream types here in Japan that you cannot get anywhere else in the world! So, welcome to another special episode of As Japanese! <laughs> Bread was brought to Japan by the Portuguese, but guess who brought ice cream to the Japanese people? Huh? Those were the Americans. In the 18th century, when Japan finally opened its borders, it sent a couple of people and diplomats over to the USA and over there for the first time, Japanese people were experiencing the taste, the flavor, the amazing cold gentleness of ice cream. It however took Japan until the 19th century until they had their very own ice cream. Now at that point in time having English words in the Japanese language was not as common as it is now meaning people had problems with the pronunciation of ice cream. So ice cream became ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. So at the point in time it was called ice cream <laughs> with an N at the end and the ice cream that they had at those times was a mixture of like it like ice cream milk and egg so it was kind of like an egg milk sherbet that they had at that point in time I would have loved to introduce you to ice cream at the time but obviously since the times have changed that one is not available anymore but it's still the big connection between America and Japan so we tried to find an ice cream that kind of is, has a very American style to it uh, as the very first one that we want to introduce so uh, let me have that one da -da -da. <laughs> the Jersey milk soft cream so in Japan you can actually get ice cream or soft cream like this one here in a little container so it will be as if you just got to the store and you got it at the store Okay, here we go, Jersey milk. Whee! Mm, can I eat it already? No. <laughs> oh, so creamy. <laughs> now, here comes the twist. There was a sweet ice dessert before there was ice cream. What do I mean with that? Japan since the 10th century has their own type of shaved ice called kakigori. In the 10th century there was a book called The Pillow Book by a female author called Seisho Nagon who is said to have written it. In that book, kakigori, shaved ice, eating that is mentioned. It's the first mentioning of that type that we know. So maybe since then kakigori has existed in Japan. Now, what is kakigori shaved ice? Japanese people again have refined this. It's a block, a big block of ice that usually gets wedged in between and with a sharp blade gets shaved. Nowadays, we even have machines for that. The traditional one is a metal machine. And if you look around, there are even certain stores now that have a new technique, which almost turn the shaved ice bits into powdered snow, which then is then topped usually with kind of fruit juices or flavored things, strawberry and similar things, and a little bit of condensed milk as well. Very popular food to have at Japanese summer festivals. You see it all around on those stores and you can see kakigori sometimes even have their own only store. So as well as there's a gelato store, there will be a kakigori store. Some of these kakigori stores even have refined the way they eat it. That's what I mean when I say Japanese people eat glaciers, meaning they <laughs> actually go up into the mountains, have a certain f field area, and with that one, instead of raising rice, they raise ice there. So they use a certain type of water, freeze it there somewhere up in the mountains, then cut it in big blocks, transport it to the business, and these ones are said to be very tasty. I had one of those that was in Tochigi Prefecture and they're really, really proud of eating those fine glacier ice creams without the cream because it's shaved ice, so fine glacier ice. <laughs> 
Now, kakigori you can get in stores, but they actually also have it in supermarkets because Japanese people love it so much. So let's grab our shaved ice. Whee! <gasps> All right. This is like the typical kakigori color. Oh, this is also the typical kakigori consistency. It's already quite melty. Oh, look at how the slushiness. Slushy, slushy goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm. Not sure if you can hear that. <laughs> now, also, whether the ice is crushed or whether smooth depends on the actual prefecture in which you are. So, in the east, it seems to be the crushed one is the favorite of the Japanese people there. So, yeah, you have it like this one here. And then, if you go towards the west, the other one is the very smooth kakigori. That's eaten more in the west, for example, like Kyoto. And uh, personal preferences, I guess, I do like both. But yeah. Yes. And we're also going to introduce Japan's top three ice creams you should not miss. What are you doing? What are you doing? Doctor, what are you doing? Real life Pokemon Go? ちょっとだぜ。え、犬。あ、でもこれもアメリカと関係あるね。なんでこれミシシッピアカミミガメっていう。へ、え、ミシシッピ。うん。これもミシシッピ。わあ。へい、ガイズ、ガールズ、アン
actually one of my favorites here because they put a lot of effort into having the outside crunchy like crisp and crunchy then there's like crunchy chocolate in here and then in there is ice cream and again chocolate and i don't know how they're doing it it's a magical magical mix like it's so satisfying to bite into this one and they even ship it out so quickly like being this one being fresh is really important so it arrives like so quickly at the store they measure it has to have the right temperature and everything there's a whole video about that maybe put that somewhere in the link so yes so yeah this is number one there yeah, that's the reason why this one here is number one da, 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 da. looks good right <laughs> So the outside of this one usually we have similar ice cream like this in germany and the outside of it is kind of soft and soggy this one is really crisp and then it's followed also by the chocolate it's just a perfect combo mm. now we know the most popular three ice cream types but we want to know all about all the other crazy types that are out there and japan is said to have the hardest ice cream in the world Japanese people love red beans and so there is an Azuki Ba ice cream by Imuraya. Imuraya? Imuraya. And that one contains the usual, the Azuki beans, but it's also said to be the hardest. We drove around a lot, finally found this one, and the director has the theory that he could even put a nail into wood because it's that hard. I don't believe it. We're gonna test it out now. Oh, that's what it looks like. Is it kind of like cute size? Cute size. Ah. To be honest, one bite. One bite. One bite. I've never, I've never had this one. Hata! <laughs> 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 How are we gonna do this? How do you wanna do this? Okay. We have nails, we have wood, we have the ice cream bar. Let's make this happen. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> are you kidding me? Why is it so hard? Even though it's melting, it's it's pretty hard. I think you just have to like lick it until it goes down. Wow. So try to use your canines on that one because otherwise you can't bite that one off. This was our ice cream journey. I hope you enjoyed it. There are loads more exciting Japanese ice cream flavors and types and I hope to introduce them to you in a future video. So if you want to find out about that one, don't forget to be subscribed. Tick on the notification bell so you actually know when the videos come up. Be one of the first one to watch it. And don't forget, give us a like to say you enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to reading about all your cute, tasty and weird and wacky ice cream types that you have in your country in the comments. And I hope I catch you soon for more stuff here from Ash Japanese. See you guys. Bye. Never, I've never had this one. <laughs> <laughs>